All right, guys, it's another review that we're going to do. This time, Vibe Sound Executive Stereo Headsets. Headset, sorry. Now, this particular headset, um, for those that are in the business world that work from home a lot of times, uh, I know some jobs require you to actually buy your own products, which is really sad when you think about it, but some jobs do require you to do that. So with that being said, uh, this is a headset that you can actually purchase at five below for five bucks, five, $5.55 to be exact. And then that's before taxes. This comes with the built-in microphone, the boom stick as we call it, a boom mic coming. Premium sound, it says, we're gonna definitely test it out in real time. Um, unfortunately, it has the 3.5 headphone jack, but if you're a PC user and you happen to uh, use, what's that cord called? The little jack splitter, the one for audio. I do have that. I don't think it comes in the box with it, but if you have one and they're dirt cheap, you can go ahead and plug that up and actually use this microphone for your actual sound. Anyway, with that being said, and that's if you're using that type of computer, other ones that, you know, you just plug it right in and it will change the options for you. You just got to toggle a few things. Anyhow, made the introduction way too long. Introduction. Let's hop right into this review. Alrighty, we already talked about the price. Now I did get the green color primarily because a lot of the headsets that I normally buy are like multicolored, weird, or the normal just black or gray, or you know, just the most generic colors you could possibly find. And I figured this channel needs a little bit of color, you know, a little diversity in here. So I bought a green model. All right, so that's cut that open with my trusty ninja knife. Now, right here, this is the headset itself. It does come in its bubble wrapping, as you see. What, what we're doing right now is I'm using it in real time along with you. So this review was not concocted like other ones. This is the first time opening it and it'll be the first time me actually doing the audio along with you guys. Now, ooh, I don't know, I'm not liking this so far. So my, my first impressions of this coming out of the box, honestly, is that this looks very, very cheap. I, I can't sit here and act like it doesn't this looks very very cheap and i hope i clicked 60 frames for this video if not that's fine it's probably on 30 frames hd anyhow uh the cushion is doesn't really feel that good like if you press on this you don't you could barely press and you could feel how what is that on the front of this cushion i don't know what that is it's like this uh okay this, this looks like this cushion is adjustable or something Okay, it looks like it's an adjustable cushion, adjustable uh, earpiece. So if you decide to put it on your head, um, you can kind of adjust it to fit properly so it doesn't give you ear fatigue. The cuffs are very, very small. There are no physical buttons on this thing whatsoever. It is the 3.5 headphone jack. And this right here is the boom stick or boom microphone as they call it. Wow, this looks really, really cheap. It just looks really, really cheap. Um, you know what? Let me not judge it based on just the looks. I mean, it doesn't even have... Okay, it does. It had a felt little... I don't know this material, like a rubbery feel to the top. So that's something. Um, but this is very, very, very cheaply made. Like, I'm actually very disappointed in the quality of the build. But let's go ahead and do the sound. Because if it sounds decent, then that will make a huge difference. If the sound is amazing. Because most people... Especially if you're in a business, uh, you know, working behind, working yourself at home, or answering phone calls, you need a cheap microphone because yours isn't working or something. This might be the answer for that. So let's go ahead and hop over to the section where we talk about the fit, and then we're going to talk about the sound of the headset. Alrighty, guys. So this right here is two sections. The first one we're going to do is the fit of this microphone. The second one is going to be the call quality of the boomstick microphone that you see right here, which is actually adjustable. Now, initially, when I first did the unboxing of this, I found this headset to be very, very cheap looking. Um, it is very cheap looking, to be honest with you. But once I adjusted the actual uh, earbuds, not earbuds, but these little strap pieces right here, what ended up happening is that because this earbud, this, this rubber tip right here, oh, the, the cuff, the cuff, I mean, it's adjustable, meaning it presses against your head and moves based on how the headset is moving. I don't know if that's something that they intended. For the headset to do but it seems like it does because it does seem loose and it's like it's movable not removable but it's a movable uh ear cuff piece right here so if whether i push the headset closer toward the back of my head like so or push it close toward the front it felt as if it alleviated a lot of that pressure that you normally feel when headphones are crushed against your ears now um 
what I will say is outside of that, I have used these, I would say about, uh, how long would I say I had them on my ears? For about an hour, not that long. Um, they do still feel fine. I don't have any ear fatigue. I don't have any headaches. I don't have anything like that. And when you look at my glasses, I'm using thick razor Bluetooth glasses. So that I keep connected to my phone most of the time throughout the day, especially at work. And occasionally, you know, a lot of the headsets I wear presses on that. So this is actually pressing on the back of my ear and I don't feel any pain or anything like that. Just a slight pressure, but that's because I'm wearing glasses. There's nothing that I can do about that. Otherwise I'll be blind. But when I tried them completely off, like so, ooh, that hurts, I'll take them off. Um, they feel great. They feel perfectly fine when they're completely off. I have no issues whatsoever. Even when I wear glasses, I felt just a slight, slight pressure because I have a very thick pair of glasses. The uh, frames itself had, you know, their Bluetooth, those speakers inside of them. But with this off, I don't have any ear fatigue whatsoever. I haven't had any problems, none of that. So in this next section right here, which I'm not going to cut away. I'm just going to keep talking about it. This is how the quality of the sound. So I, I purposely set that up where uh, you was able to hear me talk in the microphone as I described how it felt so that you can get an idea of how good the actual quality of the microphone is. Now, um, you know, obviously you have to be a judge for yourself for that. In the last section of this video, we will talk about that, but I did listen to a recording of this headset first before, uh, just to make sure that the sound wasn't complete trash. And then I, uh, you know, re-record it, obviously, so that I can go ahead and do this little section and have some type of understanding of, of how decent this microphone actually sounds. Now, what I will say is if you're having a conversation, a conference call, things like that, a lot of Zoom call conference calls, if you're not using your phone speaker or if you're using a PC, tend to have cloudy uh, call quality. And that's because it, that's a connect. That's not just the headset itself. That's also a combination of the connectivity of how well your Internet is working. It, it's a combination of things. But if you have an absolute horrible microphone, then nothing is going to change the audio in a horrible microphone. What I will say about this one is that I'm actually really pleasantly surprised on how well these sound, given the fact that it's a $5.55 headset, it sounds good to me. Now, for some people, again, if you're using higher end headsets, if you're using Blue Yeti microphones, if you're using, uh, uh, I forget some of the other name brands of different types of uh, microphones and things like that, you're not going to, you're going to listen to this and say, what are you talking about? This sounds like crap. But for the average person that is working at home, for the average person that, uh, like state employees, things like that, a lot of times certain jobs, not saying state, but certain jobs will have you work from home, but they require you to buy your own computer, which is a little crazy, or they'll require you to buy your own headset, things like that. You don't necessarily know to go out and buy a particular headset for a particular job because it may or may not be clear. It is, it is, how, it, it is the way it is. It's very difficult to look at a microphone review and say, well, is this clear enough for me and my job? So that's why this video is as long as it is, and I'm talking so that even with me touching my ears, me touching the, uh, the, the boom stick right here, in case you accidentally tap it, things like that, it's so that you can hear if any mistakes are made. The cord being moved, a lot of times headphones are very, very sensitive, and it picks up a lot of different background noises. So from this segment, you can determine, is this something that you would actually use? Again, this is a corded headset. It has a 3.5 headphone jack. Me, I use a desktop computer. So what ends up happening with that desktop is that I have the splitter cable that allows you to hook it up to the audio, and that's why you're hearing this right now. Otherwise, you would just strictly hear, um, I'll be talking from another microphone or something like that. So with that being said, I can honestly say that this microphone isn't bad at all. Um, I was going to do a section where we do like a little gaming section, things like that, but this, is, this isn't for that. This is for actual conference calls, conversations, Zoom calls, uh, Skypes. Things like that. It's not for gaming. You know what I mean? It's, it's not for that at all. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the last section and talk about is this product actually worth purchasing? All right, guys. So is this product actually worth the $5.55 plus taxes? I'm going to go ahead and say absolutely yes. Now, again, um, I've used many different types of headphones. I have GB. I wish I had my older headphones that I reviewed them on the channel, but unfortunately I wasn't YouTubing at the time. But I had a pair of JBL Quantum headphones. I forget what they were called. And the audio quality in that was just awful for certain headphones. It was obviously better than this, but for the price point I paid for those headphones, they were awful. What I will say is that <laughs> um, they're, they're, not bad. they're not bad for the $5 price tag, $6 price tag. Be aware that this is cheap. 
be aware that if you pull on this cord or if you tap the microphone at all like i did in the video to kind of give you guys some feedback to see if it would uh you know do what i expected it did yeah when i soon as i touched that microphone you heard all the crackling a little bit or the you got to be careful about the microphone when you hit it that's about it but the headset does work very well i do suggest it for anyone that's in the office that needs something to just work from home to answer some phone calls it sounds good it sounds decent uh, unfortunately i was on a uh, actual discord conversation but i didn't want to record that because i'm talking to the guys and they said they could hear me just fine and the audio coming back to me would sound fine too so i do suggest them now the last part of this video i have to say is this this piece right here plugged into the 3.5 headphone jack as you can see for those that are unaware of that and what that does is that gives you these two pieces right here this one with the microphone is for the microphone for your pc this one is for the headphone slot for your PC. And what it does is it converts these headphones to allow you to be able to talk into uh, basically a microphone in the PC. It allows that to happen. Now, granted, because this has the boomstick microphone, you are able to actually, you know, it's adjustable. You are able to plug this to a phone that has a 3.5 headphone jack. It is also possible to plug it into, per se, a Apple phone if you have the adapter or an Android device that doesn't have a headphone jack and uses a C adapter. Yes, you can use it in that way for a phone call. But realistically, I'm gonna be honest, if you have a pair of earbuds, Galaxy Buds or something for your headphones, you might be better off, for your phone itself, you might be better off using those for your personal cell phone. This is more something that's more catered to PC users. Now, if you don't wanna pay that price, obviously $200, 129 for headphones, 149, you just want something cheap and, and quick, Yes, if you have the dongle that connects to this to USB-C devices or lightning cable devices, it should work for you. Or if you have the headphone jet, you can just plug it in. And normally with Samsung devices, it'll let you know that you're using a different audio device for a headset, and then you're pretty much good to go. So yes, this is a decent headset. I like it, I do suggest it. Um, I don't think this product is gonna be in five below for too long, especially if people catch the eye on the fact that, hey, I could buy this and use it just fine. I wouldn't be surprised if, if companies that were trying to save money bought a bunch of for their office workers, but it works. It does have decent sound, I'll give it that. It may be hideous in terms of the physical looks, like this is cheap as crap when it, the way it looks, but boy, it does have the quality of sound, I'll give it that. Anyway, that's the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, be safe.